I don't think I need to say where we are. Just seeing this should be enough to make you realize where we are and what this race entails. And with Frank 10 minutes to go here in what could be the only PSL Red National Series Championship ever, well, let's make it a big one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round 19 of the 2024 PSL Red National Series. Welcome to the Gamebridge 250 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hello everybody, my name is Alex Vitale. Welcome to the Brickyard, the Yard of Bricks, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't change the fact that we are racing in possibly the most historic uh, motorsports venue in not only the United States, but of the whole world. Or at least it's uh, the top, of course, it's the top three of Le Mans and the Monaco Grand Prix. But uh, yeah, uh, of course, I don't think I need to mention what is the main event that is, uh, that is held here. But, in case you didn't know, because I would assume there are plenty of younger fans, uh, most recent younger fans that don't know this, but uh, Indianapolis actually used to host the United States Grand Prix for Formula 1 from 2000 up until 2007. And uh, the older fans who know, I don't know this fact, will definitely remember what happened at the 2005 uh, um, edition of the race. In case you don't, tire wear, lots of mess, uh, six car race out of a 20 car field everybody angry reputation from Formula one ruined at least for at least for at least for that moment but uh, yeah uh, of course again uh, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell that i'm not going to explain anything else about Indianapolis because uh, again it, it's like that needs no introduction and uh, fun fact we are actually racing and of course as uh, as are the horse Prince series and wall cup series and um the trucks, even though they're racing at IRP, and also the Horse Prix series is racing at IRP, and so is the Wall Cup series uh, racing with the Wallach with a showdown. They're racing at IRP, but basically every single, but basically um, all the events from both the Wallach Cup series and the DPSRA and the PSRA are being raced in the weekend of, of the return of the Brickyard 400 at, um, at in the real life NASCAR Cup schedule. Now. From what I've gathered, virtually no one is convinced that if the race is uh, a more. Everybody is convinced that the the new the um, their race, the real life race, is going to be an absolute bore fest. And a reason why it, uh, it shows why the truck was cut from the schedule. So I guess we, as a whole, uh, we have. Um, a bit of a challenge, and that is to make this race hopefully a little bit more exciting than the uh, the real event. I mean, it's probably not. I mean, if you, if we go by what everybody says, it's very it's not that hard to achieve, but who knows? One thing that is definitely terrible is the championship battle, and uh, Junior Samario leads the way again. Now, thirty nine points clear. Of Brendan Rogers. Second is Carlos Rex. Then we have Brendan Beal, Michael Sheeran, Justin Paris, Cody Gopher, Brandy Oliveira, Wackwell, and Sean are running up the top 10. With Telemarco, the winner in Indianapolis, now in 19th place and, and jumped up five positions in the standings. So, with all that being said, guess what? It's time for racing. And as the pace cars rolls on, let's take a look at the qualifying results. And Ryan Little will lead them to the green flag. Alongside him is Brendan Beal. Third is Ty Dent. Then is Justin Perez. Then is Kyle Langland, Kenny Creed, Zachary Taylor, Santi Manson, Dennis Kurishov, and Elisa Hernandez will round up the top 10. With Telemarco starting in 24th and D'Amelio starting in 15th. So, just like Pocono, we are only, we have only 24 laps here on the itinerary. And uh, I hope that this race doesn't go anywhere near like the nightmare that was the Pokemon race because, as I've said in the AG in AG's channel, the Pokemon race took me three versions of Pokemon and two days of filming. And in the meantime, that's Khrushchev right on the side. His engine is blown. That's game over already for one driver. And yeah, that yeah that um, I mean. Right now, of all the three races that he has had, he hasn't had the best of luck. Again, the qualifying pole and Nashville, but that track and no pole and no, and no inside line. 
They had a poor race at Pocono, and now disaster strikes again here at Indianapolis. So trauma already in, and we didn't even start officially. They're going to round the turn number four. Or it's literally known as the place where JL Hildebrand crashed at the final lap of the of the 2011 Dapos 500. The pace car forces into the pits as the screw shove. And there's no restart zone, there's restart cones, and Green Flag is in the air. We're away at Indianapolis! And that will lead lap number one, but watch out for Little, he's going he's gonna to try for a timid move right away at the inside of turn one. But, but then he's going to block, he's going to block him. There goes Taylor on the inside of Little into two, but no, never mind. Little is going for again attack, there's a more convincing attack into the backstretch, that next to the backstretch. As he has to deal with Taylor, as, and, and Little is actually going to help by Art, and looks like Art is actually going to pass the seven car. And Little cannot make the move that's still in the lead as side by side between Art and Taylor. Uh, Art has is good with this little battle. There goes Little again, a timid move on turn four. Uh, then to, into the main straight, side by side between Ware and uh, Taylor. It's very really weird going to win this battle. Little is glued to the rear of the 18 car. Can okay, actually try move? Uh, nope, he's going to settle behind into turn one. There goes, there's a move. And uh, nope, uh, Dent is going to defend magnificently into, 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 into the little bridge between one and two. That goes into the backstretch. Damalio is dealing with Brandon Beal right there. These guys are glued to each other right now. And may also, where am I joining on the fun? There goes Little again, a timid move. Uh, actually, be a little convincing, but nope. He's going to settle behind the 18 car again, and there goes yet another attack by the winner Darlington. And now it looks like to be a little bit more convincing. Actually, no, that, that's a very, very bad move because that's going to allow Art to make it to possibly put a move. But Little is going to stay behind the 24 Rebel car. And no, Little, Ryan Little is still between 7, but now Art actually has to say as to Watch himself from down where on the inside and where it's going to take third place away from the from the from the rebel car. In the meantime, side by side between the dent and where, as uh, as little is going to start to pull away. At least it's going to pull a bit of a bit of a safety gap. They're still side by side these two, and where is going to win this battle into the bridge between three and four, and now. Uh, apologies for that one. Yeah, uh, there goes Art on the inside of the dent, and Art is not going to clear him, but he's got help from uh, from Langland, and also from Messi, from Lopez, and from Taylor, which is the complete opposite of what what uh, Dent has. He's only being helped by Quinton Moore, and there goes uh, where, there goes Art, there goes Langland, there goes Messi past the 18 car, there goes Lopez, and also. Taylor as well, so Dent is uh, dropping like a rock. Now he has to deal with Quinton with Quinton Moore and Gene Samel, championship leader. In the meantime, there's Little uh, half a second away from uh, what what from what is Dylan Ward in second place. But second place, but not by second place might not be for longer because Art is glued to the rear of the 30 car. He might try to move right there. There goes Messi, trying to defend from Lopez. He tried for a move on, but it became a defensive move on against Lopez. 
Lap number five is in the books. At least I want to say. No, it's not. Yeah, lap number five is in the books. Little as uh, pretty much lap every single lap as of right now. Where is glue to the Ferdy car? There it goes on the inside, on the inside of the back stretch. And he's going to settle behind the Ferdy car. They're pretty much, pretty much single file all over the place right now. Yeah, they're pretty much single file. It looks like no one is willing to risk. But in the meantime, where tried for them? Ard tried for the inside, but where is going to defend the Nicholson? There goes Ard again on the inside of four into the front straight, but where is going to pull a bit of a safety gap? As you saw, Messi tried for a Timmy Momo Langland, which he, he, he thinks better of it. But it's good. To, but the, the Tom's Long car is good to the uh, uh, to the Monaco car. So that might happen again. And uh, yeah, virtually. Actually, where is Tamelli? Tamelli looks like he's actually Tamelli is looking at a lot, a lot of positions. Virtually none of them are champion. Actually, no, never mind. He's actually lost the position to Rex is ahead of him in the championship, but. He's, uh, he's, he still has a, a pretty good gap, so I don't think he's going to be all too worried right now. In the meantime, let's go back up front. The battle for second place is still, still rages on, and now they have catched up to Dylan, to Ryan Little. So, battle for second is going to become battle for the lead again. Unless, uh, no, Little is pulling, is pulling a safety gap again. Art is glued to, to uh, where? And uh, it's not happening. Uh, it looks like it's not. There's a timid move right there as Massey goes to. Ooh, that was actually a much more convincing move, but where's going to block him? And uh, Art has to settle behind the 30 car. That's a great performance from uh, from Dylan, from uh, Dylan Ware. Not so much for this for this guy, Gene Samalio, who has been passed by Perez, by Hobbs, by Marco, the winner at Pocono. Then we got Miller, Lineback, and of course, Carlos Rex is scored in the championship. Side by side between uh, Lopez and Messi. Into the main straight, uh, side by side between Dent and uh, Little and Taylor. Taylor is actually going to win this battle. And now he has to, he has to the 18 has to watch out from an attack by uh, Quinton Moore. But it looks like Quinton Moore is going to defend this now. Marco joins in on the front for first place. In the meantime, Messi and uh, Lopez is still side by side. There it goes. Lopez goes up to fourth to fifth place. As where as Dent is going to overtake the slow car. There he is. Maybe Beal as well. Yep. Messi drops is dropping down like a rock. Let's go back to the lead. Nine laps completed. Still no cautions. There goes Art on the inside of oh, where we're gonna go wide. And looks like we got a caution. Oh no, they're pitting. They're pitting. They're pitting. The leaders are pitting, and Rex and uh, Taylor are not go are not going to pit. As is Hernandez, the two Evans Ross cars are not pitting. As is, ironically enough, both championship rivals of uh, Damelio are going to stay ahead one more lap. But in the meantime, in the meantime, let's focus on uh, Dylan Ware, who's the first to actually cross the line in the pits. There it goes. So, I know the drama. Actually, let's switch over to Ryan Little because he has the uh, he's been the pole setter. He has the first slot on the on the road. No dramas. There goes. Okay, there's Paris. There's Chris. And who is going to win this? They're gonna go for four stop for a four tire strategy. There goes Ware. Dan is hard. Lopez, Messi, Langland, and where is going to win this? Let it be second. Art for Dennis Lopez, Langland, Messi, Lineback, Dent, Miller, Quinton Moore, Markle, Hobbs, uh, Runkle, Beal, Alla, Perez, D'Amelio, Chris, Williams, Racer, Goforth, Quail, and, and uh, Heller, Adnia, Sheeran, De Oliveira, and of course the rest of the field in the pit. There it goes. Hernandez is the pits, as is Taylor. And it's Chris, uh, Rex, sorry, and is Benny Moore. And Rogers is looks like he's going to pull first. No, Benny Moore has actually something to say about it. And who's going to win this battle? Looks like it's going to be Benny Moore. Then it's going to be Hernandez. Then it's... Uh, 
is Rogers, Rex, and then uh, Taylor. And there goes Ware. Passing by into 1 and 2. And Ware is, let's put a big gap on uh, what should be second place in, uh, well, it's a visual second place, right a little. And they're going to rejoin the track, and most importantly for these two guys, they're going to rejoin ahead of D'Amelio. In the meantime, we're actually going to check the ticker if it's going to update. Lap 11 is going to be completed in just a couple of seconds. Into the front stretch. Lap 11 in the books, lap number 12, 13 to go, and who is going to be the leader of the race? And it is indeed tight and it is Delaware. That is Little and Arnold tried for a timid move on the inside of Little for a second. He's still trying, but Little is going to close the door on the 24 car. This has been a great, basically Art has been facing vir virtually moving walls right now. There goes Art again on the inside of Little, and looks like he's going to make it stick. And nope, that was not good. Little still has to pedal on, and still has, has, the advantage on the, has the advantage, so Little still up for second place. In the meantime, Langlet and Lopez are glued to each other. We might see an attack from the four Monica car. So, lap 12 is in the books. Lap 13 is now. 12 laps to go. There goes uh, next to Langland try for a timid move on Lopez. There goes, uh, it looks like it's still be a bit more convincing, but now he's going to stay by, uh, before he's still he's standing behind Lopez. But in the meantime, Dylan Ward goes completely unchecked. There goes Weir again, there goes Art again for second place. Uh, and this time he's going to make a much better job in actually sticking, and he's going to take second place away from Little, unless Little is going to be side by side, side into the front stretch. And Art is being helped by both Lopez and Langland, but Little has going to be up the edge, at least here on the front straight. Let's just get up in turn one, and Art is still there. Still side by side, and there goes Pat the 24 card, as does Lopez and almost Langland. Pass little and uh, nothing yet right now. And there goes Lego clears the 37 car. In the meantime, where is the Malio? Oh boy, he's he's where is he? And uh, he's in 22nd place. Well, yeah, this uh, after gaining so many points in the previous races, now he's definitely going to lose a lot of points unless again some shenanigans happen again. There goes uh, Lopez uh, on the inside of Art into the front straight. Lap 14 completed, 10 laps to go here at Indianapolis. And Little is, uh, Lopez, sorry. Lopez tried for a timid move, but Art is going to defend well. Little actually tried himself a move on the four car. Actually, honestly, they're slowing down into turn two so much, almost was like there, there's a caution out. But, yeah, basically, we are 10 laps to go and still no cautions, and these guys are driving so close to each other, it's actually incredible. Actually, I think there was the race in Las Vegas where they're racing so close to each other, but there was no caution whatsoever? But, yeah, that that's, that's I guess that's not surprising because it already happened before, but still, this is very, very cool to watch. Even though the race is not exactly giving many, uh, many, uh, emotions, but, yeah. Nine laps to go for Delaware. Now Art and Lopez are glued are glued around the 30 car. Art tried for a timid move again on the inside of the 30 car in the break between one and two. Let's see what's going to happen. And looks like the Red Bull is going to stay behind the 30. And actually, he might have to look uh, look from a move by Lopez. Uh, no, Lopez is going to stay behind the Rebel car. You know, let's check the rear. Pretty much everybody's still in single file, uh, or at least I think they are. Miller is a bit off of line compared to Rex and Rogers. And uh, D'Amelio has lost two more positions. So yeah, this is definitely not good for uh, for him. 
I mean, I can I guess he can afford a bad result. He has uh, almost a win. Um, a bit, he has a win of distance between the um, no, actually, has a little bit more than a win actually. There goes uh, Arn on the inside of, of where for the lead, and he's going to play the forty car. Sean Arn back into the lead of the race. And now Lopez might fancy a move on the thirty car. Little is too far away to actually attempt to move on Langland. There goes Lopez. But nope, he is going to settle behind the 30 car. Little try for a timid move on the 4 car, but no dice. Lap 17 in the books. Welcome to lap number 18. In the meantime, there is some value. I mean, as I, as I was as I, as I, completely what I was saying, I mean, Domelio, I guess he can afford a bad race because he has more than a um, more than a race win to a race win and a quarter and a race win and a half to Rex and Rogers. But still, this result my is definitely going to be perplexing to the checkered flag guys, and they hope that it's not going to be a new norm. In the meantime, Art is pulling away. And they're going to pull into the pits again. They're going to pull into the pits again. Where are Art and where are the first pit again on lap number 18 and on lap number 19? Side by side between Benny Moore and Messi. And looks like the act of Asquad's car is going to, take the, going to take the place away. Six, yeah, there he goes. As Marco is attacking uh, uh, Dylan Witt, um, tight end, sorry. Uh, but now he's going to settle behind the the, uh, the 18 car. And now I'm going to assume these guys are going to be the next one to pit. And of course the question is, who has the fuel to make it to the end of the race after this second pit cycle? And yep, they are going to the pits. Lopez, Langland, and Lil are pulling into the pits. There goes Nia, and as for the battle, Art is going to win this battle. And it's going to be Ware, then is Perez, then is Chris. Nia is going to come out. There are Rogers and uh, Rex. Um, actually, good, actually, no, these guys are going to continue for one more lap. Uh, well then. <laughs> This is uh, interesting. I mean, it almost feels like they they teamed up. I mean, they know that they have such a big gap to the Malio and decided, you know what? Let's have the same. You know what? Let's have the same pit strategy. Let's see if we can actually gain anything to that guy in first. And now it should now this guy should be the next one. The next one to pit. In fact, there they are. Rex and Rogers into the pits. As goes uh, Little and uh, Taylor. There goes Perez, uh, maybe he's in the lead, I want to say, but who knows, we need to see, we need to check the uh, Yapteta ticker. As we come to four laps to go, and the leader is uh, still not updated. I mean, the leader should be, I mean, should, I mean, I guess it should be Perez to lead in the race, but who knows. But regardless, actually no, let me check one thing, and uh, no, okay, no, 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 okay, no one. There goes Lopez past the uh, Weir and the Langland to take the lead of the race. Uh, side by side between Weir and the uh, Langland, the Weir looks like he's actually going to win this. And I left number 21, left number 21 in the books, it says still Zachary Taylor is in the lead of the race. But now let's see if, it, if it's going to update, uh, not yet, not yet, so technically, for those are purposes. So again, for this purposes, Zachary Taylor is still the leader of the race. Now where is he? Oh, there he is. He's out in the pits. Now I guess now we should have a clear picture on who's actually the leader of the race starting from this lap. We're free to go. We have four, we have four laps to go, actually. And let's see, what is it going to be? Lab number 21 in the books. There we go. And... 
still doesn't update. There we go. And now Anthony Lopez is the leader of the Game Bridge 250 with three laps to go. Second is now Charnard. Then we have Weir and Langland who's fighting for fourth place uh, for the wooden spoon, basically. Against the Weir. We side by side, but Weir is going to defend this position. In fact, there he goes. Weir clears the fourth the four car of, uh, of Eric Monaco. Oh, by Eric Monaco, should I say more, but whatever. In the meantime, there he goes. Possibly the biggest winner of this of this race. I will show some more the, uh, the two biggest winners of today's race because, uh, yep, looks like Damelia is still stuck in uh, is stuck in twenty second place. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of points gained for both of these guys. But in the meantime, two lap two laps to go here in Indianapolis, and Anthony Lopez looks like he's going to pull the shock win unless unless. Sean Art has anything to say about it, and if he has anything to say about it, well, well he has to say it quick because, uh, well, only two laps to go. In the meantime, Langland and Weir are going to be glued to each other. There goes Langland on uh, Timmy Move on the inside of Weir, but nope, he's going to stick behind the Angle Mafia car. Actually, there goes the, the more convincing move, but nope. Where is going to close the uh, the track, the, uh, the line of the four car, and in the meantime, white flag for Anthony Lopez. There goes Marco and Little, both race winners, Marco at Pocono and Little at Darlington. But in the meantime, let's focus on uh, right on Anthony Lopez. Lopez, who is currently in, uh, where he's in standings, he is in, uh, in 30th place. So this is definitely going to boost his uh, championship position. And out of uh, turn 3 he goes in the big bridge between 3 and 4. And there's turn 4, Art is super close, but it's not going to be enough. Out of turn 4 they go. And Anthony Lopez is going to win at the Brickyard. Anthony Lopez wins at Indianapolis. Second is going to be Sean Ard. Third is Dylan Ware. Then is Langland. Then is Rex. As we said, the biggest winner here at Indianapolis. Or just number two biggest winners. Then we got, uh, then we should be Ryan Little, Mark Hall, Tyler Mark Hall, Brandon Rogers, Benny Moore, and Jacob Miller rounding up the top 10. And where did Damelio finish? He finished in frame 21st. There he is. Now, I hope that nothing wrong is going to happen because on my first time at Pocono, it crashed on the cooldown lap. So, fingers crossed, there's nothing bad is going to happen. And. Doesn't look like it. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. And so, Anthony Lopez wins the, um, the Game Bridge 250. Then it's Sean Hart in second place, himself a race winner at, um, at Austin. Then we have Dylan Weir, Kyle Langland, Carlos Rex, Ryan Little, Tyler Markle, Brendan Rogers, Benny Moore, and Jacob Miller rounding up the top 10. And uh, now, as we said, is, uh, D'Amelio is, is in 21st, and the all retiree is Dennis Kershaw with a piston and the formation lap. So, uh... I guess this was a decent race. I mean, for a good chunk of the race, these guys were were uh, single file, and there were overtakes. But uh, I want, I guess, I uh, I don't know. I I don't want to call this race boring because it really wasn't, especially now with the championship implications. But uh, yeah, I guess it could have been better. But uh, I mean, I'm actually, I'm not going to say if it's going to be better than the real life cup series race because uh, that doesn't happen yet. And uh, who knows? Maybe that race ends up actually being an absolute banger, but who knows? We will see uh, in this weekend. As per usual, we are not going to show you the updated championship standings after the race. If you want to do so, however, do check the official Pizza Raid Discord server. Link's in the description down below. 
This has been a special presentation of the Twitter Report PC Supernatural Series, Great Police and Lennon Foco. I'm Alex and Vital, and join us next time for round 20 of the championship at Road America. So long, everybody, from Indianapolis. We'll listen again to Anthony Lopez.